Sage Research Methods Datasets is a collection of datasets that can be used to support the teaching and learning of quantitative and qualitative analytical methods used in the social sciences. The best way to learn how to do data analysis is to see examples of how others have approached analysis and then practice doing it yourself using real data. Sage Research Methods datasets provide sample datasets that students can use to practice doing data analysis and that teachers can use in a research methods course to demonstrate various analytical techniques. The quantitative datasets are drawn from large surveys, experiments, or government data sources and have been cleaned and reduced in complexity to make them easier to use. The quantitative datasets come with a step-by-step -step guide showing how to perform a statistical technique using the data in statistical software packages. The qualitative datasets include examples of various types of qualitative data, including interview transcripts and field study notes, as well as visual material. Accompanying the data is clear, easy to follow advice on how you might approach analysis of the data, making it perfect for students learning qualitative methods and for teachers looking for examples they can include in their research methods course. I'm Nick Allen, I'm Professor of Research Methodology in the Department of Sociology at the University of Essex and I use SAGE Research Methods datasets in my teaching. Well, uh, I have each week a one-hour lecture and a two-hour lab session. So I uh, lecture on a particular statistical technique in the lecture and then in the lab uh, I use uh, a SAGE research methods data set as an example of the statistical technique that I've been looking at and I go through that exercise with students and then they're able to go through the um, extra questions at the end to uh, do it on their own. They can discuss that with their classmates and then we, we come together at the end of the class and talk about the interpretations and what it all meant and uh, hopefully that uh, gives them a pretty good understanding of the practical aspects of the method. Well, I find them very useful because often you're looking around for suitable data sets to demonstrate a particular technique and it can take you hours, possibly days, possibly weeks to find something suitable. Whereas with the SAGE data sets, I know they're, ref they're referenced by uh, method and I can look up something and find something very quickly that's kind of uh, interesting from a social science perspective and demonstrates the methods in a way that's helpful in the classroom. So students go through the examples step by step and most of them aren't at all used to the software. So having these very concise step by step instructions along with screenshots that tell them uh, the results that they're supposed to be getting up and to which they can compare what they're doing is very, very useful. And it kind of reduces the uncertainty for students and gives them a good roadmap for, for how to do statistical analysis. Well, the qualitative data sets are useful uh, in much the same way as the quantitative ones in that it, often the problem is finding suitable data sets to use in the classroom. Um, and the nice thing about these data sets for qualitative research is that not only do you find the data, but you see the processes by which the data have been analysed already. And that's key to learning how to you know, do qualitative analysis. Often students can look in a journal article and see the results of the analysis, but they don't get any insight necessarily into how it all took place. So the combination of the data and the methods used to, to analyze the data are very, very useful. Well, in the classroom, I will pick a particular data set, and that might be based on the topic of the data. It might be based on the data type or the method of analysis. So for instance, it may be field notes I'm analyzing with a, a thematic analysis or something like that. And we will go through um, the text in class, potentially using some uh, qualitative software, and uh, do a step-by-step -step kind of approach to analyzing that text and building up uh, a sense of what the, the text means, and then uh, getting students to make their interpretations and test their interpretations against other students' uh, perceptions of those same data. Well, uh, students, for a start, if a student misses a class, they can very easily do the step-by-step -step exercise uh, themselves in their own time. Sometimes I would use the extra questions at the end as homework 
or classroom exercises which could be used for assessment. Uh, they can also be used as the basis for a group presentation task, for instance, uh, where we'll assess a presentation based on the data set and the analysis that students have done and their interpretation of the methods. So there are quite a lot of ways in which it can be used beyond just a simple demonstration uh, in the lab.